This is a special edition of Bluefinch Cooking, only except today we're baking. My, my class at Mad Creek Elementary School has just taken part. If you've ever taken that, that's kind of long. We did seven days straight of it for one hour to up to 90 minutes. So I bet my class is just exhausted, so we're giving them a little treat. Today we are making a quadruple berry trifle with whipped cream, milk, pudding, angel food cake, organic raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, sorry about that, blueberries and strawberries. It takes a little while to bake, so we're gonna dive right into it, but we'll see you guys later when I'm done. Okay, so we're going to be making angel food cake a little differently. We're going to throw not only the mix of the angel food cake, but putting right in the mix to make it really moist instead of water where we'll be adding milk. Six cups of it to be exact. Watch, that one's open. There you go. So Gavin, why don't you tell them why you started Blue Finch Cooking? Well, I started Blue Finch Cooking because my mom thought I needed a little bit more responsibility in the house. So she gave me the idea to take $25 every day, well, not every day, but every week, and I had to plan two healthy meals that have a vegetable, a grain, and protein in them, and I had to cook for the family. What I didn't know is that we would be vlogging it, but here we are. Yeah, kind of grew into something bigger, didn't it? Yeah. What did you find about shopping? You really need to pay attention uh, to the prices because I think, I don't know if it was the second week or the third week, but one of the things I needed, which was a meat, it was, I think, five or six dollars. So I decided to go get it, but if I just checked a little bit deeper, which I ended up doing, there was one for like maybe four or three. And that saved me a little bit, and I was now under budget, just like I had to be. So and that's just one thing. And watching coupons and sales. What about just getting what you want to just because it sounds good? That doesn't always work. No. And what about before you go to the store? What were you learning you had to do there? I had to plan not only my dinners, but all the ingredients I needed. And any special thing because of your brother? Yeah, my brother's gluten-free and lactose intolerant, so you can't have this. You have to buy stupid almond milk. <laughs> so it made a little bit of a challenge, right? Uh, right. What about picky eaters? That is all my fault. <laughs> okay, you need two more cups. So, preparing meals for the family you found was a little bit more of a challenge? Yeah, I can totally see why my mom does not like to do it. I love doing it, but it is work, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so now you need to mix it up? Yes. Let First, I need to play the cap. There you go. There you go. Thank you. That's thick. So what if your friends want to see other videos that you've done? You can go to Blue Finch Cooking, where I have up to seven weeks, I think. Mm -hmm. Is it seven? Yeah, I have up to seven weeks of just cooking and cooking. And I have one guest video of my brother cooking in the morning, I think, muffins? Yeah, we had a snow day, huh? Yeah, we did. Okay. All right, let's get these in the pan. Try and even them out. Okay. Here comes to our first teaching part of the video. One thing you want to do right after you do something like this, like pouring batter into a cake mix, you want to wipe off the edges so none of the batter that got onto the edges burns. Okay. So, this is the fun part, right? Very. I need to put my hands into a 350 degree oven. Nothing better. Okay, you're gonna have to turn it sideways to make room for everybody. Okay, get the other one. 
doctor. This keep, one's hard. There's no grips at all. Keep it nice and level. You got it? Yep. Yeah, I think so. Good work. So, what's your favorite part about cooking? Probably just the fusions, combinations of ethnic foods I come up with. Not like, it's not like I'm saying. But tonight we are making mac and cheese and croissants. <laughs> Although, you do love croissants. Touche. <laughs> Since these are some of the biggest strawberries I've ever made, like this one, Jumbo, Billy Bob Jr., <laughs> uh, we are going to cut them down into smaller bites, like this or that. Okay, get going. I must go through each one of these one by one to make sure none of my friends at Mad Peak get anything crappy or poisoned. <laughs> poisoned? <laughs> Blueberries, which I must go through one by one, make sure there are no stems, or as you know, poison. That's big. So if you don't become a chef, you could become a dramatic actor. What makes you say that? <laughs> <laughs> Still look a little bit too wet. You might be able to see that. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna put them in for another five minutes. Okay, Statsu. I saved your life. Oh. <laughs> yes. Squishy. Spiderweb. Squishy. Okay. We are going to add the raspberries, the sugar, a couple tablespoons. Then we're gonna puree it as a drizzle that you guys can use tomorrow. Okay. There you go. Way? No, you got it. There you go. Currently was. Yep. All right. Hit it. To All right. Now what are you doing? I'm making our vanilla pudding cream. I wanted a light, fluffy cream because angel food is a light, fluffy cake made of egg whites. So I just thought they would blend together well. So how are you going to keep this light? Well, we are, instead of mixing it, because mm -hmm. that's kind of hard, we're going to fold it. It's more gentle. It will keep it light and fluffy. Mm. Cool. Then we will add four cups or one quart. I have been paying attention in math, Miss Rock. Show us your ways. We're going to fold by cut it kind of in half, and then you're never going to guess this. Fold. Try again, show me. <laughs> fold. Mm -hmm. Cut. Fold. I bet you can't guess what it's called. Fold. We're going to put all of this in the fridge. We're going to wait for the angel food cake to cool. Then we're going to assemble it all into those cups right there. Then you'll have tomorrow. Today. I used this tool before. Kind of a fancy contraption. <laughs> I think there are two knives there. Yep. I just confirmed that. Okay, so we are going to be cutting this first in half, then we're going to stack it and cut it into cubes. Okay. Okay. That was fun. And then we have 
This, which Mom and I can describe as light as air. So we are going to first do some angel food cake on the farm, then cream, then we're going to do the berries, and if we have any left, then we'll double. Okay, pipe in your cream. Here, why don't we take, you can take your cup and top. Actually, if we could have everybody doing this as a, like a assembly line, it might be a little bit better. Yeah, that would be. Don't worry, he scrubbed his hands really, really good. Hot water, soap and water, scrubba scrubba. And then we'll have the drizzle. We don't want to do it now because it's kind of, it would make it kind of soggy, but we do have it. Okay. So this, that's how you make a quadruple berry trifle. Everybody look. Is it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> we even have enough to make my mom a very special version for Mother's Day. And please make sure to check out Blue Finch Cooking on YouTube to check out all the rest of my cooking demos. And I'll see you next time.